Well, welcome back. Some of us just aren't getting enough fruits and veggies, believe it or not. And dietitian Holly Mason is here now to talk about ways we can up our intake this spring. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Thank you for having me. This is so hard for a lot of people. It's just it so easy to reach for things like the chips. It is. It is. So but you said it didn't have to be that hard. No, it doesn't. So if you're looking for something crunchy, mm -hmm. you have your potato chips there. These potato chips are going to give you about 140, or I'm sorry, 160 calories. Uh huh. One gram of fiber and only two grams of protein. That's it. That's it. In this little bag. So if you have about a cup of veggies, so you can do some carrot sticks, you can do some celery sticks, and you can make a homemade Greek yogurt ranch dip. Mm -hmm. So if you do a half a cup of the Greek yogurt and about a tablespoon of the ranch dip seasoning, and you mix that, you can dip your veggies in there, and that will give you 142 calories. Really? Four grams of fiber and about nine grams of protein. Wow, so much healthier. So you can yes. have all of this and some of this and it'd be <laughs> yes. instead of that. Yes, so you're getting like a lot that. more nutrients from that. Okay, and then obviously, it's, I feel like it's easier for people to eat fruit. It is, a lot of people like more of the sweet. Yeah. So when we get our fruit, some of us reach for a cream cheese mm -hmm. based fruit dip, mm -hmm. and that's gonna give you a whopping 480 calories. Mm, really? For just a okay. half a cup. Wow. Um, it's also gonna give you 25 grams of fat, Wow. And zero grams of protein. Okay, and those are the things that come like prepackaged in the store, you see? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so what's the alternative? Cream so an alternative would be a low-fat cream cheese, or I'm sorry, a low-fat cottage cheese mm -hmm. dip. Um, and you can do that with any type of fruit that you prefer. Okay. And that's going to give you 90 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, and almost 13 grams of protein. Wow. So you go from <laughs> so a lot zero grams of protein yeah. to 13 grams of protein. And also that cream cheese based fruit dip mm -hmm. has about 25 grams of added sugar, mm. if not more, depending on how much you use. And it's hidden in so many things these it days. Is. Yeah. It is. So are there some fruits that are better than others to eat? I say whichever one you like. So okay. a lot of people are afraid of the sugar content yeah. of vegetables, or I'm sorry, fruits. Uh -huh. um, but as long as you're not eating about 10 bananas a day and you're not eating 30 halos, that sugar that you're getting from that fruit is minimal. And you're getting so many other um, vitamins, minerals, fiber from yeah. fruits and veggies. Yeah. And those nutrients can um, decrease your risk for heart disease. Okay. Can protect against a few types of cancer mm -hmm. and has tons and tons of other health benefits. So ways you can, another or a few tips that you can do to increase your fruit and veggies. Mm -hmm. You can always, when you go to the store, say you see a new fruit or vegetable that you or your family member hasn't tried. Okay. So you can try that. Get one, try them different ways. Season it different ways, try them raw, try cooking them, boiling them, steaming them, mm -hmm. roasting them. Um, okay. Find different ways that you like to eat them. Um, yeah, and make it fun for the kids yes. too, right? Yes. All right, yes. all good tips. Thank you yes. so much for oh. being here. We well, appreciate it. Thank you for it. having me. All right, still ahead, new.